Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I thought I would go over my three favorite Facebook ad testing methods. These are all methods that can be used for a fairly low budget. I look to spend 2x my break-even cost per purchase on each of my tests. So if my break-even cost per purchase is $40, I will spend $40 times 2, spend 80 bucks. On my test and based on that $80 and spend I'll usually have enough information to decide if I want to keep testing or if I want to move on to a new product um, now also I'm speaking specifically for shine on which can be found at shine on.com most of you should already know that all right let's jump into the methods so the first is a CBO method and with my CBO method I like to use a $30 budget and I'll have three ad sets and usually what I'll do is these three ad sets will all have duplicate interests they'll also have one ad like that Now, what you can do if you're going to use duplicate interests is you can literally just create the first bit here, publish this, and then you can come back in and just duplicate this two times, and that'll create these two for you. Um, a variation on this method that I use sometimes is I'll make each of these um, ad sets all different interests. Like if I'm really trying to test or I have like a new pixel or something like that, I'll make those three ad sets with different interests. This is how I like to run my CBO campaigns. What's cool about these is that, you know, CBO will try to find the ad set that's making the most money for you and then optimize for it. So I sometimes let it do that. Another one I like to do is kind of similar to this, except it's ABO. So this is ad set budget optimization. And in this one, you'll have one campaign as well. And you'll have three ad sets. Each ad set will have one ad. Like so. And what I'll do here is I'll make each of the ad sets $10 budget. Um, the reason I like this one is because, first of all, I'm a big fan of ad set budget optimization. Um, I like the, the spending on ad set budget optimization is a little bit different. It spends a little bit more evenly. You don't have Facebook trying to think for you on where it should allocate your budget. And I find that the test results are usually a little bit more pure. Um, so I'm a fan of ad set budget optimization. But I do have to say, Facebook is trying to steer people towards CBO. They're spending more development dollars and everything else towards CBO. So CBO is probably the future. So if you're just new and starting out, keep that in mind as you're experimenting with different methods. At any point in time, Facebook can come. They could shut down ad set budget optimization like that, and you'd have no say in the matter. Um, with this method, too, you can either do duplicates again, kind of like I did above, where you just publish this first and then come back in and duplicate this two times, right? For these two uh, ad sets um, and you can also you can either experiment with interests or use the same interests usually I'll turn these on and I'll let them run um, until two times of my break even cost per purchase I'll analyze the results if I have a purchase I continue if I don't have a purchase then I'll move on to something else. All right. So here's another one you can do. Uh, this, is, this is kind of a fun one. Um, so what you do is you create one campaign. This is going to be an ABO campaign. And then you create $1 ad sets. And I'll create, like, depending on my budget, um, I'll create 30 of them. And they're all 
right? Um, and what I'll do, especially for this one, I do duplicate these because it's just way too difficult to create them any other way. So one of the things that's neat here about all of these methods is that you can you can experiment with the budgets, right? So experiment. You can experiment with budgets. You can experiment with number of ad sets. And you can experiment with interests. But these, when I'm testing, this here, whoops. These are my go-to testing methods. Um, I tend to stick to these first two more often than not. But that's just because they're a little bit easier to set up than the last one. Um, and I know that these still work to this day. Uh, I actually launched two products um, last week using these methods. I got sales on both of them. Um, one of the things I constantly tell people is if you're new to this um, and you're struggling to get sales, it's almost never a result of, the, of your testing methods. Look, sometimes it can be, but usually it is not. Typically, it's uh, an issue with having a bad product. You need to go back to the drawing board um, and get a new product. All right, so let's talk about results here real quick. So do that, let's zoom back in here. Okay, come up here and we'll put analyzing. Having some bad, uh, it's not catching my pen here. Analyzing results. Okay, so this is pretty simple. I, I don't overcomplicate things. So here's kind of how I do it. If zero purchases, then new product. You have zero purchases on your Shine On jewelry after two times your break-even spend. Then you go to a new product. Very simple. If greater than zero purchases, start ramping up. And really, when you start ramping up, and you can do it a number of ways, increasing ad sets, increasing budgets, experimenting with different interests, there's different things you can do at this stage when you're ramping up. But when you're ramping up and scaling, that's really when the Facebook ad methods and techniques come into play heavily. When you're testing though, usually the techniques will not make or break it. It's the product that makes or break it. But when you start to ramp and scale, if you really want to hit big numbers and stay profitable, you need some more technique on the ad side of the house. All right, everybody, I hope you found this video helpful. I'm going to make the downloads available in the description below, and we'll see you in the next one.